Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about video encoding jobs, what I think the video encoding jobs are going to do for us. So stay tuned. Okay, here we are on the pre elite edge, and I'm looking at the caching side of the house, and I am looking at the video encoding jobs. And right now, there's only one job per day, sometimes two. And because it's kind of in beta, the only jobs that it's doing are Theta TV, I believe. But I'm thinking once this Mainnet 3.0 is released, as I understand it, they are going to open this up to essentially anybody that wants to use it. YouTube, Netflix, basically anybody. They all need the video encoding done. And as I understand it, there's only three or four major video encoding companies out there. It's a $1.1 billion industry, and apparently there's so much of it that needs to be done that the YouTubes and the Netflix can't do it in-house, I guess. Not sure why, but probably because of the massive volume that they do, they have to farm it out. They may do some of it in-house, and they may be farming out uh, a lot of it simply because of the logistics of getting it done in a timely manner, they have to. I'm sure that the Theta has researched the market and have decided that adding that capability to the Edge node will be a moneymaker for them. I mean, $1.1 billion up for grabs. You know, even if they grab a small portion of that market, there's probably going to be a lot of jobs. So anyway, the point that I'm trying to get to here is... If I look at this history, these jobs are paying anywhere from 0.8 T fuel up to 1 T fuel or a hair over. But uh, each job typically takes about five minutes. So they're only doing one or two a day right now. But let's say that when they open it up to the world, that if you get just three jobs per hour on average and you use the lowest payout figure of 0.8 that's 2.4 T fuel per hour times 24 that's a, a pretty significant amount let me pull up the calculator and see what that works out to be let's say 2.4 an hour times 24 that's 57.6 T fuel earned per day you then multiply that times 30 days in a month and that's 1,728 T-Fuel in a month. This video encoding could be a real gold mine, in my opinion. I mean, even if they cut the, uh, the payment in half and they only do, say, 0.4 T-Fuel per job and you only get three jobs an hour on average, that's still, you know, eight 900 T-Fuel per month just from video encoding this could be a real gold mine i know i'm excited about it i mean it's uh can't help but wonder what other kind of things they uh, may open this edge compute up to the uh, video encoding may just be the tip of the iceberg and it's something that needs to be done and they got to pay for it using t-fuel so exciting stuff ahead people exciting stuff ahead and as explained in another video the uh, cost control mechanism uh, will be that the video job will be expressed in dollar terms and then at the completion of the job whatever the price of T-Fuel is the dollar amount will be converted into T-Fuel and paid out okay let's uh, look at the current price of T-Fuel which is uh, 5.6886 cent for a single T-Fuel so if the average job is paying out um, 0.8 T fuel that's the low they range from the payout ranges from 0.8 to 1 T fuel for a job so we're gonna go with 0.8 so what does that uh, convert to for the value in dollar terms of a video job that would be 5.686 times 0.8 point point eight T fuel is worth four and a half cents so if you if you express the value of a video job as four and a half cents 
than uh, if the price of T fuel were to go to 10 cents, uh, you would end up getting um, about a half a T fuel because you're earning um, from the video encoding jobs as expressed in dollars based on what they're paying right now means a, uh, a video encoding job is worth four and a half cents. So they're only going to pay four and a half cents for a video encoding job. And as the price of T-Fuel fluctuates up and down, because you're paid, it's the, the value is expressed in dollars, but your payment is in the form of T-Fuel. So uh, you would get less T-Fuel if the price of T-Fuel goes up, because they're going to pay you the equivalent of four and a half cents for that job in the form of T-Fuel, if that makes sense. Okay, here's another example. When I was in the uh, Marine Corps and I was stationed over in uh, Okinawa, Japan, I would get paid and in order for me to use my paycheck, I had to convert it to yen. And because the exchange rate for dollars to yen changed every day, uh, whatever, you know, one paycheck I might get, let's say I got $50 to spend, I might get 200 yen and the next paycheck, that same $50 would only get me 150 yen or maybe it would get me 250 yen. I had to go through that exchange process and T-Fuel is no different. The jobs are expressed in dollar terms, whether it be caching or video encoding, but our converted into the equivalent amount of T-Fuel at the time that the payout is made. Well, hopefully all that made sense. The video encoding jobs are going to be a real uh, bonanza for us, I think. So uh, if you got something out of this video, hit that like button on your way out if you would. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.